Welcome to the second episode in our series, The 3D Experience Platform Explained. Today I'll be taking you through a use case around supplier collaboration and document management on the platform. We start by logging onto the platform as an OEM. We can hear, see here the social collaborative side of the platform, where the unstructured nature of social collaboration fosters enhanced innovation. Here a post has been made asking the supply community to submit bids for a specific manufacturing product. <laughs> to manage our documents, we'll start by adding a new tab to the dashboard. From the compass, we can drag and drop certain apps directly onto our tab. Here we have selected the 3D space widget. This shows us the collaborative spaces and their contents. A collaborative space is a location where we can place content such as documents and provide access rights to the data based upon a member's role in the space. There are different types of collaborative space that control the visibility of the data contained in the space. A member might belong to multiple different collaborative spaces and have different roles within those spaces. Here we can see the properties of the collaborative space, the members, their roles, and any analytics around the data stored in the space. Let's look at a collaborative space that has a lot more data in it. As we can see here, there is a lot of analytics that we can extract from the collaborative space. Data filtering is available directly from the pie charts. The data can be filtered by a specific time frame. Let's add another widget to the dashboard. This is the bookmark editor. Currently, as of 2018X FD04, the bookmark editor is included under 3D product architect role or the project and product engineer role. Really, we feel that this should be included in the base platform under business innovation. The bookmark editor allows us to create folders, add documents, and assign members privileges and access to the data. Here, we've created a few folders and added in some documents. Creating a new bookmark is easy. Just right click or select the option from the toolbar. A bookmark has a life cycle of its own and must be in the active state before it can be accessed. We promote it to the assign stage and now assign some user privileges to the content. Access rights can be assigned to everyone within a collaborative space or to a specific members. Here we are providing read write access to this folder for the community of suppliers. We can now promote the maturity of the folder to active and make it available to the members. Let's take a look at how we add a document to a folder. This couldn't be much simpler. We drag and drop the document from the Windows Explorer to the bookmark folder. If we now look at the document properties, we can see that it is in the in-work state, meaning this document can be changed by authorized users as required. Some of the properties can be edited as we see here. Obviously, documents have their own life cycle. Here, we are going to promote the document from the in-work state to the release state. The life cycle graph could be modified to enable direct promotion from the in-work to released. Now we'll take a look at how a user accesses the rights can be assigned to a document. This is very similar to how we assign rights to the bookmark. The rights assigned to the document will supersede those assigned to the bookmark. Here we provided read-only access to the community of suppliers. However, we granted supplier SU specific read-write capabilities. The bookmark editor application also have a favorites area where I can store a link to documents that I might access regularly. Using the simple Google-like search, I am now searching for designs to add to my favorites. When I find the correct design, I drag and drop it into my favorites bookmark. As we can see here, we receive the complete assembly structure referenced in my favorites. Even with the design, I can now assign access rights. Regardless which collaborative space this assembly resides in, I can assign supplier Sue with read-only access, even though she does not belong to the collaborative space that the design resides in. As we have seen, documents and any object on the platform have attributes that can be displayed through the properties. We will now look at adding new attributes to the document object. Obviously, to do this, you must be assigned the platform manager role. You will then have access to the platform management dashboard. Access from the content tab, expand the collaborative space configuration center widget. From here, many settings and behaviors on the platform can be configured. Clicking on attributes management, we open the document type. Here we have the ability to add in new attributes. The interface is very self-explanatory and easy to configure. We select the type of field, 
define a name and decide whether it's mandatory or not. Let's see what happens to new and existing documents on the platform. We can add a PDF directly to the supplier's bookmark, as we see here. New attributes have been deployed and are available. Editing the attributes is easy. The mandatory and default values have been respected. Now, if we look at the attributes of an existing document, we can see that even here, new attributes are deployed and available. As we, is, as we have seen before, documents have a defined life cycle. Let's look at revising a release document, in this case, the PDF. From the toolbar, we can select to create a new revision. This instantly populates the new revision in the bookmark. Here, I am checking it out for editing. We have a visual history of the document available and can easily switch between versions and compare them directly from the Explorer tab. We have many options available to control the different versions of the document. Having added in the documents required, we will now create a task for the supplier who wishes to answer the bid request. Collaborative tasks are a very easy way to assign a task to someone while attaching all the relevant data. Easy search, drag and drop of attachments onto the task is supported. Here we select the assembly that we made available previously to Sue Supplier in read-only mode. Additional documents can be added and type ahead searching is supported. Before Sue Supplier receives a notification about the task, it must be moved to the ready state. This is achieved through easy drag and drop. Sue Supplier has received a task assignment notification in her email. Clicking on the link provided, it takes her directly to the task assigned. All the data provided by the OEM is available in the task, including any detailed instructions. We'll take a look at the task in a few moments. Let's look at the collaborative space widget. We can see that Sue only has access to the supplier's collaborative space and only access to certain documents. In her to-do tab, she has the collaborative tasks assigned to her. Here we see the same task that we showed previously. Based upon access rights, she can download the documents directly from the task. Here she takes the assembly and drags and drops it from the task to the product structure explorer. Here she can interrogate the model and figure out what it is she's being asked to manufacture. Three 3D, 3D Navigate, which works in tandem with the Product Structure Explorer, she can cross-section, measure, explore the structure, and understand the assembly. Easy-to-use tools are provided for manipulating the assembly, and no prior CAD experience is required. Dimensions, snap to circle centers, points, and lines. Sue Supplier develops a quote for the OEM in Microsoft Word. Here in Word, she has access directly to the platform from the Experience tab. In this case, Sue decides to save the document as a new object on the platform. She defines some of the available attributes of the document and selects where to save it. Here in the Supplier's quote bookmark, she created a folder for her documents that only she and the OEM can access. The file is saved to the platform. Its attributes are now available. Back on the platform, we'll be, be able to see that the new document has been saved to the supplier's collaborative space. Here, it will be visible for the OEM to review. Finally, Sue has completed her assigned task. If she wishes, she can attach the quote document directly to the task, making it easier for the OEM to review all deliverables in one place. The last thing she needs to do is move the task to complete, indicating to the OEM that all data has been provided. Back at the OEM, he can see various quotes provided in the supplier's collaborative space. Browsing the bookmark structure, he can see Sue's quote directly saved from Microsoft Word. Looking at the collaborative tasks, he can see that Sue's task is completed. All the data is provided and accessible in one easy location. He can open the document, review the contents, and make an informed decision. We have seen here a secure collaborative scenario between OEM and a supplier. We have also seen a lot around document management and access. This ends our second episode of Hawkridge's 3D Experience Platform Explained series. Thank you.